Hi everyone, welcome to Eve Valkyrie Warzone. So Warzone is a new expansion to Eve Valkyrie. It expanded the game to be supported for non-VR players, so regular PC players and PS4 players can play now. And it still supports crossplay between all the VR headsets and all of the uh, non-VR players now. So I'm playing the new mode, Capture the Flag, or Extraction as it's called. And I'm flying a stealth ship. So I have this charge shot that I aim with my HMD. Let's see if I can land a shot on this guy. Here we go. Now one more shot. We should take him out. Yes, got him. And there was missiles coming at me, but I cloaked. So one of the cool things about this expansion is all of the ships are now unlocked for everyone right off the bat. Which is good because they also reset everyone's progression due to a bunch of changes with the progression system. Now you progress each ship individually, so you gain experience per ship, and then you can buy special mods and stuff for each ship. Oh, one more shot. Come on, baby. Yes, got him. Stealth? Yes. The same exact thing that happened last time. Okay, so my secondary attack tags them and makes them take more damage. Unfortunately, I appeared I've missed. That's okay. Took his shields out with that one shot and line up a clean shot here. This one's in my eyes. Oh god. Now I'm stealthed, so I can be a little more careful. Check my cooldowns. They also added ultimate abilities, which is what that purple thing is. So your ultimate ability charges up over time. Mine, for example, is a massive bomb. So I can't wait for that to unlock. Oh, the enemy has the flag. I should probably be paying attention to the objective. Alright, well, my tag is almost up. Tag him to take more damage, and... Oh, I missed. Charging up my shot again. Good, he's gonna make it, it looks like. Damn. One more shot, come on. Well, I hit him, but he's still looking flag. It wasn't enough. I keep using a charge shot, but I can also just spam smaller shots. I love how you can aim with the HMD with this ship. Yay, we got him. Alright, let's charge a shot up again. <laughs> it's so silly looking up like this. Alright, looks like that one connected. Here we go. We got a near kill, not just an assist, but a near kill. Okay, so our team has the relic. Let's go assist him. Well, he didn't need assistance. Self up. Get my bearings here. Look, these guys are picking on my teammate. Okay. So, tag him for additional damage, and then. Your team has picked up. Nice, I killed him. Stealth ship is awesome, but there's like a dozen or more ships in the game. Apparently, uh. <laughs> In the old V Valkyrie, where you had to progress to unlock ships, no one really applied anything other than the starting ship, the Wraith. So they just decided to unlock everything, and now it feels like players fly a much larger variety of ships. There's tank ships, the stealth ships, the support ships, and of course the assault ships. And now he's tagged for additional damage. Stealth. Ooh, my uh, ultimate ability is up. I'm not gonna waste it on this guy, though. Let's see if this good as dead. Oh, oh. Almost hit that. Gotta fly, fly real carefully in this game. It is not a six degrees of freedom flying game, so you don't have directional thrusters. You don't even have throttle control. 
only reason I'm moving the throttle around is because of muscle memory. It doesn't actually do anything. And of course, you don't need a HOTUS to play this game. It works fine on a controller, and it was built for a controller. Oh. Oh no, I bumped. Yeah, we got him. Oh, I, I bumped again. This isn't good. This isn't good. My number one cause of death in this game is collision. Now my windshield's broken. Okay. So the enemy has the relic. There it is. This must be the relic site that they're trying to deliver to. So... Try to intercept him. The enemy has oh. team has picked up the relic. Good job, team. I wanted to throw my my ult like in the goal and have it blow up, but I guess it didn't work out like that. We'll go assist our relic carrier. Buddy, go. He's gonna make it. He's gonna make it. Yeah. I think I'm too far away to land a shot right now. Okay, his shields are down. Alright, I'm gonna launch my hold. We just line up. Okay. So we should see a big explosion soon. I missed the explosion, dang it. It didn't kill it, it didn't kill anyone. Ooh, nice. I tagged that guy to take additional damage, and then my teammates just laid into him. So yeah, I love this stealth ship. It's nice how you can just stealth and then people forget about you and you can get behind them and start killing them. Out of bounds. Get back. Okay, I guess I got baited out of bounds and I died. Killed by desertion. Nice. You can switch ships uh, mid match if you want every time you die, uh, but then your ultimate charge gets reset, just like Overwatch. Not sure what the score is, but the enemy team has the relic, and I'm gonna go after this guy. Okay. Nice, nice. We got him. Whoa, what happened? I got EMP'd! It's <laughs> awesome, I haven't seen that before. Alright, I'm stealthed. My shields need to regen. Yeah, we won! Go team! So that was the new capture the flag mode. There's also deathmatch, carrier assault, etc. I got three kills, one death, three assists. Not too bad. And then you earn all your XP for your account level, and you earn XP for the ship you were flying. So then you can go into the hangar. Well done, pilot. Once I get through all these screens, you're ready for this fight. Now get out of the hangar. Show me what you in between are. matches, your fellow Valkyrie are waiting. And so now there's these skill trees for every ship. So I have enough XP to lock, unlock Steel Ghost plus 10% cloak integrity. Let's equip it. And yeah, so most of the things you can unlock here have a benefit and a downside, like this one, plus 20% fire rate, minus 15% damage per shot. That kind of sucks for a ship that relies on like a big charged shot, so I'm not gonna equip it. This one, plus 15% um, capacitor, which is your boost, minus 15% charge recharge rate. That I think is probably worth it. Well, this one is 7% primary weapon overheat. I don't have it unlocked though. 
and there are a bunch of ships. So I only have a couple seconds left. Quickly, this ship, this ship, this ship, this ship, this ship, this ship, this ship. All different ships, and now we're going into the battle. So let's check out one more match. Okay, so this time I'm. Let's pick a different ship. How about the Banshee, which is a support ship. But support ships uh, can still lay in some serious hurt. We love this part. Alright, so this Support's is just a team deathmatch. Just kill as many enemies as you can to try to stay alive. So with the Banshee, you just shoot this laser. And it's super easy to aim. Hit anything. Here we go. Alright. You actually have two lasers. So just stay on target. What is this guy doing? Oh god, we're bumping into each other. Does not do that much damage though, that's the problem. And then I can lay down little like mines. Protect the enemies with spiders. So this ship is really good at like draining shields. And once the shields are drained, it kills things very slowly. But as long as you can stay on their ass, they'll die. Just waiting for my weapon to recharge. I'm really on his ass right now. Hey buddy! <laughs> Yeah! Someone else jacked the kill, but I got the assist. Okay. Oh god. Need some more spider mines. Ooh. I got taken out. As a sport ship, you present a big, fat, slow target. Oh nice, it was a stealth ship that got me. Check my abilities. Okay. Yeah, so my main healing is through the spiders and my ultimate, which recharges my allies' abilities. Other than that, I just gotta drain enemy shields and keep my beams on them. Where's your shield at? Oh, there it is! Some of these ships can recharge their shields super quick. Some of them get two shields. There's a lot of special, or there's a lot of ships, and uh, they all have unique special abilities. Which is pretty cool. A lot of different play styles. My shield is actually drained right now. And there's someone on me. Basically, until my shields come up, basically. Oh god, oh god. Take it out again. Okay. That's not good, because it's deathmatch. Every time I die, I'm, I'm committing a, a point for the enemy team. different maps too. One of the best things about this game is that it's just been under active development for the entirety of VR's lifespan. So at this point it has a ton of different maps, different game modes. You can play co-op versus AI with your friends, or you can play the PvP mode, which I'm doing. And uh, there's just a lot of cool stuff that you can do. Single player stuff. There's not like a storyline campaign or anything, but there are single player missions that you can run. Damn, I got EMP'd! Uh-oh, uh-oh! 
Damn, I got EMD and take it out. Oh, I like this. I like spinning around. Oh, it's the same guy. They're picking on me because I'm a healer, even though I'm not healing anyone. Scary. The EMP and the missiles coming at you is a bad combo to deal with. Basically, because I have one hit point and my shields are down. I need three gen here. There we go. Shields coming back up slowly. Oh, this guy's almost dead. Yes. Ram that guy. Ah. So I'm not too good with the healer, but at least I'm getting a couple kills and I managed to heal one of my teammates. Also, if you want to play a support ship that is like more focused on healing, just like constantly healing, there are like four different support ships, um, different ones for each playstyle. I haven't tried them all yet, I've only tried a couple ships, honestly. But it's really cool that they're all unlocked right off the bat, because uh, you can just try them all out from the beginning. In the old e Valkyrie, it was like, well, I unlocked a new ship, but I've been playing with a Wraith for so long, I've finally gotten good at it. I don't really want to play these new ships. Yay! Oh, Diligent Diamond, the guy that killed me a couple times. Got my revenge. I survived at the end there. Okay, four kills, four deaths, one assist. Which is pretty good considering the scores of the rest of my team. Now look at this guy, he got zero kills, 11 assists. Assisting machine, lots of repairing. So that was a support guy, and he got the top of the scoreboard. I'm talking about Hansuka on the other team. All right. So again, you go through all of these random screens, get your XP for your ship, for your account, check your daily challenge, so every day, you get a little challenge, well and done, pilot. You've graduated with honors. then you earn You're these, like, capsules. Now so get let me out. open my capsule here. Your fellow wow, I unlocked a new helmet, and a new, I don't know, pilot suit, and some currency and a helmet decal. So there's this whole cosmetic system where you get loot boxes and you find random cosmetics in them. I'm sure you're familiar with this sort of system by now. Till the next battle. Let me go check and see if I can see how many loot boxes I actually have. 
So you've got these gold capsules, war capsules. I have 11 of those, 10 of these. And you can buy them with real money or earn them in game. I got a bunch of gold capsules just for um, owning Eve Valkyrie prior to Warzone, I guess. This shall spy. So you can get shit like paint jobs. I like this, this purple helmet, it's pretty cool. Let's see what else I can get. Epic. Bunch of crap. What's this epic thing? An epic decal. <laughs> it's so epic. Okay. Anyways, I just want to take a quick look at Eve Valkyrie Warzone. Uh, there's plenty of other features in this game other than just the PvP mode, but that is the main aspect of the game. You can also go into single player. If I can select it with Gaze Look here. And there's training. There is Recall, which are like these little missions. Scout, where you can go check out all the maps and kind of just scout them out. And they also have these little storylines in them. And Survival, which is just like enemies come at you and you fight them like a wave-based shooter. Recall is pretty cool because it lets you do single-player carrier assault. And the single-player carrier assault mission is awesome. So check that out if you're interested in carrier assault game mode. And then, in multiplayer, you can also do co-op versus AI. So just a lot of stuff to do in this game. It now supports cross-platform with PC and PS4 players, in addition to PSVR, Vive, and Rift, which is great because it means it's going to be one of these games that you can always jump into and jump into a multiplayer match. It's not going to be dead like some VR-only multiplayer games. So, um, really the only downside of this game, in my opinion, is just that the flight model is not that great, which is a pretty big deal for a space fighting game. Um, but that's just my personal opinion. I'm sure others disagree with me. But that has been Eve Valkyrie. If you think it looks interesting, definitely check it out. They've lowered the price to 30 bucks, so uh, way more value for your money now. It used to be 60 bucks at launch, and then they lowered it to 40 bucks, and now with Warzone, it's 30 bucks. So I think that's a good price for this game now. So check it out if it looks interesting. Check out my channel if you want to see more virtual reality gameplay content. Have a great day, and goodbye. Okay, let's see. Okay, see this thing? It says 100%. That's one of the cooling units. Okay, took out one, but there's a bunch all over this ship. Once we take out all of them, the core will be exposed, and we'll be able to attack and try to destroy the ship once and for all. Go, 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 I got fire on me.